It's New Year's Eve, and I've decided to start the new year with a fresh haircut. As you can see, I'm not going to a barber shop. I'm going to be cutting my own hair in this bathroom. I've been cutting my own hair since the COVID shutdowns began in March 2020, nearly three years ago. When the COVID shutdowns happened in March of 2020, my hair was already getting long at that time, and I needed a haircut. But since barbers weren't open and I had a lot of time staying at home, I decided to buy hair clippers from Walmart, watch some YouTube videos, and learn to cut my own hair. I've been cutting my own hair ever since. I typically cut my own hair every four to six weeks. It really depends on my mood, what's going on, and if I have to look decent for a meeting, event, or some outing. I estimate I've cut my hair at least 25 times since I started in March of 2020, and honestly, I really love it. I don't have to drive to a barbershop, set any appointments, figure out when a barbershop is open, whether they will be busy or not when I show up, whether the barber I use will cut my hair the way I like it. I don't have to give instructions on how to cut my hair. And of course, I save a lot of money because barbers can get very expensive if you cut as frequently as I do. I take great comfort that I always have my clippers available to pull out and use whenever I feel I need a cut or a trim. What you are going to see in this video is the hair cutting technique I've developed for myself. It's not meant to be a detailed tutorial or something you follow exactly. It's meant to give you some ideas and suggestions of how to cut your own hair since every person's hair and personal style is very different. The first thing you have to figure out when cutting your own hair are your ideal clipper guards. If I need to do a full clipper cut, I use three clipper guards. I use a seven, I use a four, and I also use a two. And I always have these clipper guards ready to go so I don't have to dig and hunt for them every time. Now, early on, I used to cut my hair on top each time, but I didn't care for the look because my hair is thinning up on top. Since I'm well into my 50s, I need all the help I can get up here, and I don't want to cut too much up on top. But I do use a 7 on top if I need it. But for the majority of my cuts, I use a 4 and a 2, and I have them on standby. The reason why I have to have the 4 and 2 each and every time is because I need to cut the sides as well as the back, which gets very, very long and thick. Okay, enough talk. Let's get to the cutting. So what I'm going to do at this point is put the guard four onto my clipper. All right, so I'm ready to go. So when I'm cutting, I'm trying to get as close as I can because I know the guard is protecting my scalp. So, as you can see, I've taken off most of the hair off to the sides here. And I cut all the way up to the crown right here at the top. And, uh, you know, I try to get it right the first time, but I don't always get it. Now, if you notice, this thing, the top, it looks a little disproportionate. And this is something that I have to kind of fix since I'm not going to use clippers. Now, another thing I do is. I comb it down, right, okay, I don't look too good here, the things I do as a YouTuber, okay. and I'm using the camera in selfie mode so I can actually show it to you. And I am not a professional, right? I'm not a professional at all, just winging it, and no one's going to confuse me for a few fashion model or be, I'm not going to be an entertainment star. 
So anyway, as you can see, just the cutting and all that, it, it, uh, it gets rid of that, uh, that growth. And as you can see, my hair is thinning. And uh, so I'm doing my best to preserve the top. At this point, I'm going to put the guard two here. So when I cut this, this time around with the two, I'm actually not going all the way to the top. All right. I'm going to try to create a tapered effect. So I'm getting the sides. Sorry, I have to look at the mirror. And otherwise I'm going to goof it up. All right, so I got the sides. Now to the back, this is what I do. I put my hand down and I go by feel. So I set, as I said, you don't want to take me too literally. I go feel my way through it, but I've done this over a couple dozen times. So I kind of know how this works. So, as you can see, um, I would say 90% of the cut is done, 90, 95%. It's certainly not perfect. It's not going to be as nice as if you went to a barber. But as I said, I'm just a guy. I'm not going to be any fashion model or anything along those lines. I get the haircut just to get by for the next four to six weeks. So at this point, I'm going to ask Susan, to come in and help trim the back, which is an area which I can't really easily get to. So what I've done is I've asked Susan to come in to cut the back of my hair, and that's what we're gonna work on, and we're gonna do our best to show you what it looks like from the back and what she does for me. So one of the things I really, really dislike is I have a little tail that grows here and Susan knows to uh, make it straight. So we're going to take a look here, see if it's straight. Usually I always take a look a couple times and it looks like it's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, she's pretty good at this. She's done this many times and for me and uh, yeah, she kind of knows how I like it. So because my hair gets a little fuzzy down there in the neck, what I do is get my electric razor and do some trimming. So this is my haircut. Didn't take long, use clippers, and I'm gonna be bringing in the new year with this look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button to help the YouTube algorithm spread this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.